please read the disclaimer. Wow, okay, that was an intro and a half, if I've ever seen one. Um, so welcome, I'm Bio, and today I'm playing a PlayStation Random, and that is uh, Critical Depth. Yep, Critical Depth. Uh, a marine combat game of some kind, apparently, according to Game of Views, uh, developed by Single Track and published by GT Interactive and released in 1997. So yeah... I don't really know what to expect with this. It seemed kind of cool. The intro was really cool, you know. It seemed like, what, aliens or some kind? Underwater or aliens? And the guy just got, like, zipped off somewhere. But anyway, we're going to jump right in, see what we got. We got uh, three modes. A missions mode, a hoi matey, adventure awaits, choose a sub and dive at the bottom of the sea, be the first to capture five pods and escape the level through the threshold to continue your quest. We got a battle mode, no land lubbers allowed. Oh, oh god, this language. Select a submarine, a battleground, and any number of opponents. Be the first to collect five parts and walk through the threshold to win. Death mode. Send your enemies to a watery grave. Command a ship. Travel your favorite exotic locale. And wreak havoc on everything that moves. Okay. We'll go with the mission one. Player initials. They always have to have player initials. So obviously there's a high score in here for some whatever reason. There we go. See, it sometimes works being bio. See? A lot of slots there. So we get to pick a sub now. The CIA. <laughs> we can go with the CIA. Um, Soviet diehards. Oh, okay. The French. <laughs> the French. I like how he's just the French. <laughs> and the submarine looks like uh, the yellow. So you know the yellow submarine. That's fitting. That's very fitting. Okay. Doctor A Apocalypse. <laughs> These names are great. <laughs> Where we go? Order of Mishrock. Okay, some kind of fucking religious cult with a crystal. Okay. Team Earth Hope. Okay. Fair. Captain Cutlass. He is a fucking pirate ship submarine. Brilliant. And then Mor Mordred Corp. I don't know who they are. The VLO, some kind of resistance. Joe Scullington. What? There's literally just a guy on some kind of jet thing going down. I'm going to take these guys on. Joe Scullion. Master of the move. Professor, Professor Armstrong, who basically just looks like Indiana Jones. Lockjaw Keon. I love, I love these names. It's great. All right. I, I'm sorry, but I feel like I have to go... Where is it? Uh, I have to go with Captain Cutlass, 100%. He's my boy. Alright, we're going. We're jumping in. Captain's log! So the network says to me, I'm sorry, Mr. Cutlass, but you just aren't a believable pirate. Furthermore, the children are afraid of you. We regret the necessity, but we have no choice but to terminate your contract. Aye, not believable pirate am I. The children are afraid, are they? Well, the dirty lamb lovers ain't seen nothing, I says I. By my bones, I'll show the lot of them fear and piracy. Now I hear that a commotion over some new 
newfangled energy pods in the Banja Gulf? The whole lot of them is coming together over the thing. Well, I says, this is where I makes me move. I figure those pods might fetch a fancy price. I'll take the sea dog down there and rub the vermin of their booty. They be singing a different tune once they had a taste of my cannons. Don't really know if that's a pirate voice, but... <laughs> Not a pilot, eh? Let's see how big they're feeling about that after they're being rotten at the bottom of the ocean. Arrgh! <laughs> not, not, not a great pirate voice, but I think fitting, fitting. Yay, yo, landlubber! I could have done like the typical pirate voice, but I find that a bit too like cliche. Oh, yay, yo, landlubber! I'm going to take you down the old swathery drink now. <laughs> right. Here we are. So, we're the battle in the Badger Gulf. We're jumping in, Captain the Sea Dog. They call me Captain Cutlass the Sea Dog. Oh God, what is this? Ooh. Okay. for a pod. I think that's a pod. Got ya. So yeah, it's a, it's a, it's an arena-based combat thing. Get out of my face, boy. Did I just kill a shark? Was that a shark and I just killed it? Something like that. Oh, almost got you there, boy. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Could do some cool music going for it, but you know. They don't really understand what I'm supposed to do. It's a bit weird, actually. Like I said, I don't really understand what it wants me to do. I fucking destroyed them! I killed them. Where is he? Nice try, boy. Oh, 
Alright, so yeah, you're just fighting each other, I think, some kind. Oh, those are, those are like homing missiles, I think. Cool. Fire a homing missile in. I'm trying to fucking. Oh, he's been destroyed! Oh, I'm almost out. Oh, I got destroyed! Oh, so close though! Oh, I got respawned, I think. Why can't I go there? Oh, he has one. I think he has all of them. Damn it! Here's me trying to shoot him and he managed to get everything and leave. No, it's an it's a cool game. It could do with some uh, could do with a killer soundtrack, but it is what it is. I came second, that's not too bad, really. And I was the one that killed the other two players, mind you. See, that's why it says kills two. So... No, I think I didn't do too bad, in all fairness. But yeah, not too bad of a game. It, like I said, it could do with a killer soundtrack to really kind of ramp it up, but whatever. It is what it is, but no, it plays okay. Seems interesting bit slow, but then again, you're underwater in a submarine. It's going to be kind of slow. But, uh, yeah. Not too bad. So that was Critical Depth. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.